After months and months of waiting, the tuning exam filler arc is finally over, and this week's episode of Naruto finally returns to the manga canon storyline. This week's episode of Naruto Shippuden was a breath of fresh air. It was also action-packed, really tense, really fun. It also featured some major events going down. So this was a pretty important episode of the series. So let's just talk about some of the highlights. So Naruto and Sasuke are kind of struggling because they're dead and everyone's freaking out. Madara has absorbed all of the power of the Bijou and the Ten Tails and become the brand new Jinchuriki. I loved his transformation sequence. I love how casual he was about it. How he slowly walked through the battlefield as all of this energy just exploded into his back. And then he went through this transformation where his entire body turns white. He has these robes on, these black chakra balls. He looks very similar to Obito when he was the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails, but he still has his own distinct design. And he just decides to start flying and going crazy because that's what you do when you have godlike power. He also notes that he himself is very heavy and that's because he has the gourd and the pot inside of him which belong to the Sage of the Six Paths. He decides to just spit those up and I'm sure those are going to come into play later on. The other thing I really liked about this episode is just how ridiculously impressive Sakura is in this one. She has come such a major way in terms of being a medical ninja. This is a scene that I didn't appreciate as much in the manga version, but in the anime version, just seeing it in action, just the fact that Gara and Sakura are flying through the air on this like weird magic carpet made of sand, and she's performing surgery on Naruto while moving at high speed. And this is not like your typical surgery. She actually like slices into his body like a freaking tauntaun on the planet Hoth and then sticks her hand inside of him, grabs his heart, and is actually like trying to bring him back to life. It's really, really detailed and it's really creepy at the same time, but at the same time, it's beyond impressive. Like I've never seen any sort of like medical ninjutsu like that from the entire series. And again, it's a testament to her skill. There's also a little bit of stuff with Guy and Ten Ten and Rock Lee, which is basically just a big build up to actually seeing the gourd in the pot slam into both of their heads, which is honestly a really nice joke and sort of like broke up the tension a little bit in this episode. And of course, let's not forget Karin, Suigetsu, Jugo, and Orochimaru fighting against Swirly Zetsu. This was probably my favorite scene of the week where Karin is pissed off about Sasuke, starts charging at Swirly Zetsu in his giant wooden Buddha statue, and attacks him with these massive chakra chains, which are just like Kushina Uzumaki's. And this makes sense because Karin is actually from the Uzumaki clan. There's a scene where Swirly Zetsu tries to attack her by punching her, and all these Mokuton spikes explode from her back. But this actually ends up working to her benefit. She uses her healing abilities, and then Suigetsu who comes in and shoots him at point-blank range right in the freaking face. This was great. Jugo saves them. Orochimaru uses his curse seal on Swirly Zetsu. It's an amazing action sequence, and I love when all of the other characters are working together because it just feels and looks so awesome. Then, of course, we see another mysterious character who just shows up out of nowhere, and it looks like he's either trying to help or hurt Sasuke. The anime version makes it a little clearer of who it is, and uh, if you really look at the scene and analyze it and think about all of the connections that Sasuke has had, it'll seem pretty obvious. And let's not forget Minato and Kakashi fighting against Black Zetsu and Obito. This scene is also really creepy because it leads to one of the biggest twists of the episode, where suddenly Sakura and Gara show up, they're trying to get a little bit of help from Minato because they claim if he uses his half of Kurama's chakra and puts it inside of Naruto, then everything is going to be just fine. But Black Zetsu actually uses this opportunity to steal this chakra, and then suddenly, Madara just shows up out of nowhere, ending this week's incredibly awesome, intense episode. So what's the rundown? On this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden, it is about damn time. I am so glad that we are back to the canon story because it's really good. It's really atmospheric. What I love most about the anime version of uh, Naruto is that it'll take scenes that I didn't really care for as much in the manga version and make me like them a lot more in the anime version. They did that a lot this week, especially that whole scene where Karin, Jugo, and Suigetsu and Orochimaru teamed up. I thought that was really great. That's always been one of my favorite things about Naruto is seeing combination attacks from like different ninja 
when they're working together. That's actually what really got me into the series in the first place was the very first time that uh, Sasuke, Naruto were uh, fighting against Zabuza when uh, he captured Kakashi and how he uh, transformed Naruto into like this shuriken so that he could uh, transform back and throw the freaking kunai at him. Moments like that are what I really love about Naruto and this episode was a perfect demonstration of that. Uh, getting to see the return of some other characters like Guy and their team is great. Tenten seems to be taking the death of Neji in stride. I'm sure there's going to be more time for tears later, but uh, still, just breaking the tension with the gorge just slamming right into Guy and Rock's face was uh, really, really funny, and uh, of course, Madara Uchiha. My god, is he awesome. There were a lot of times where they could have made him look a little better, but they got right to the transformation sequence. He looks awesome, he's really commanding, and it looks like next week's episode is really going to pick up. All I know is, we're right here in the canon storyline, and it's only going to get better from here. So, a lot of really great things about this episode. So many great scenes. The animation was pretty good. The artwork was pretty good. The atmosphere, voice acting, music, as always, is pretty good for the series. It's just great to be back to the final arc of Naruto. Let's get excited, guys. Even though the intro has sort of spoiled some of the bigger moments of this arc, I'm still really excited. So I'm going to give this week's episode right here a 4 out of 5. Check it out, Naruto fans. you got to check this one out. The canon story is back, and it's time to get excited. So I love this episode a lot, but what about you guys? What did you think of this week's episode of Naruto Shippuden? What did you think of Madara's big transformation into the Ten Tails Jinchuriki? What about Obito stealing Karama's chakra? That was pretty crazy. Do you have a favorite scene from this week's episode? And what do you want to see from the rest of the Naruto Shippuden anime series. Please tell me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video, share it with all your friends, and subscribe to the channel. You should also follow us on social media, and you should definitely check out me and Christian's brand new podcast show, The Powerful Nerdcast. We talk about a lot of cool stuff. Check that out. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby.